Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the relationship between a mace drill, the drop swing, and a staff drill, and a short stick drill. Mace, staff, and club are interrelated movement patterns. We are currently teaching a seminar in London, two and a half days, where we repeat a learning technique in a row. Staff drills, mace drills, club drills. The point being, we want athletes to see that all of the movement patterns are the same. Learning to use levers starts with tools, starts with defense, ends up with hammers building civilization. Clubs and maces have been used for all of human history to develop the core athletic skills that humans do, so you should do it too. Let's review a drop swing. Drop swing is an overhead press to a drop to a 360. Palm faces away, thumb rotates down. Rotate, mace horizontal, press up overhead, two arms lock out, squeeze the glutes, drive the rib cage down, drop, and catch. Elbow to hip. Everybody should be equally good at this exercise with both sides. James Young is one of our seminar participants. He is going to do a vertical downward strike. James, bring it on. I block, I figure out how to turn, and I hit as hard as possible. This is a simple idea that we repeat, but you will notice it is the same core movement pattern as a drop swing. James is gonna swing. I figure out how to block. I figure out how to hit. The short stick variation looks even more like a drop swing. James is gonna softball me on the first one. There's that overhead press. I turn, this is a shield cast, into a strike. Pause. That is the two-hand overhead press. It is a universal movement pattern that you practice no matter what your sport. Overhead press, barbell, kettlebell, club, mace. And then we are linking that into a shield cast and a turn. Full extension, drop the weight, learn to hit hard. Humans have thumbs for a reason. Drop swing, feet square, press, learn how to control the lever. When you can control the lever, all of your joints are in the right spot. Turn it into a stagger stance. Press into a swing. Turn it into a press. Turn around and do a swing. When your elbow is in the right spot and you can control the mace, you are doing it correctly. Humans are tool users. We have thumbs for a reason. Swinging weight should be a part of everybody's training. Doesn't matter your age does not matter your sport, does not matter if you play a sport. Swinging levers teaches you to put your skeleton in the right spot. It teaches you how and when to breathe. This is what we are talking about in seminars, how to take basic defensive drills, the thing below language in human evolution, and tie it into weight swinging.